Hello dear friends. Welcome back to our class. Yes, today we are set to learn some of the famous common phrases. Because phrases help the students to enhance their language and also to prepare for the competitive exams in the best possible way. So let's get started with the first one. All in all. So what is the meaning of this all in all? It means all powerful. Dear friends, we need to understand one thing very clearly. Phrases are the words which have got different meaning from the literal meaning. For example, you may understand all means completely or wholly. But when we use one word along with other words, then the meaning of it will definitely change. So when someone says, my father is all in all, it means all powerful, almighty, supreme, the final judge. So the meaning of all in all refers to all powerful, the supreme person, the final call. So how we can use this phrase in the sentence? Just see this. The principle is all in all in the matters of school. Which means the principle is all in all. Means the principle is all powerful. He or she is the supreme authority in the school. Or we can say my mother is all in all in the kitchen. Like very powerful, very expert, the supreme. So that is the meaning of all in all. It means all powerful. Second one. Yet sixes and sevens. You may think it refers to like the numbers. Sixes and sevens. Or you may also think it refers to the sixes hit by Dhoni or for that matter any cricketer. But the meaning of this phrase is in disorder. In disorder. When you want to indicate that someone or something is in disorder, then we can use this phrase. See the example. The furniture in the classroom is yet sixes and sevens. So when someone speaks like this language or when you come across the language of the phrases being used don't be surprised what is this furniture in the classroom at sixes and sevens it simply means the furniture in the classroom is in disorder the classroom is not in proper order so that is the meaning or sometimes we can say the dress code of the students is at sixes and sevens, which means it is in disorder. Very good. Third one, bag and baggage. It means completely. It means fully. Don't think bag and baggage refers to the luggage in which we pack our things. Bag and baggage means completely, fully. See the example. Read the test book, bag and baggage. Which means when the teacher says to the students, dear students, read the test book, bag and baggage. You may wonder, what is this teacher telling? But in fact, the teacher is trying to give the message that the students must read the test book completely, A to Z. And when you don't know these meanings, you will be wonderstruck. 
you will be lost that is the purpose you need to learn all these phrases fourth one for good what is the meaning of for good it refers to forever forever or we can say always forever always eternally see the example you should give up smoking for good means you should give up you should sacrifice the habit of smoking forever or completely always very good coming to the fifth one in black and white black means you may understand the color black color or white color but the meaning is different the meaning is in writing in black and white meaning in writing see the example provide your statement in black and white means give your statement in writing okay now you have a problem you go to your teacher you go to your principal and you explain all your concerns problems issues finally the teacher the principal may ask you my dear student give your problem provide your statement in black and white then you may wonder what is this black and white color it simply means provide your statement in writing write something on a piece of paper and give it very good next one milk and water don't think that milk which we drink it refers to tasteless or useless okay see the example don't speak don't speak milk and water things don't speak milk and water things means don't speak useless things don't speak useless things or you can say today my food is milk and water it means not that your mom has provided you some milk and water it means today your food is tasteless there may not be that much taste okay that is the meaning of milk and water which means tasteless or we can say useless then the seventh one in fact the last one on all hands you may understand on all hands it means everywhere in every place in every place see the meaning nowadays pollution is found on all hands now when this kind of sentence you come across you may wonder what is this pollution found on all hands so it is not telling about the hands of the people the two hands but the meaning is very clear that pollution is found everywhere or we can say there is pollution everywhere in the village in the town in the cities so that's all dear friends for today we have learned seven important common phrases so try to learn all of this and put it in practice in the form of speaking in the form of writing with your friends the first one all in all which means all powerful second at sixes and sevens which means in disorder third bag and baggage which means completely fourth for good which means forever fifth in black and white in writing sixth milk and water tasteless or useless seventh on all hands which means everywhere so thank you very much dear friends stay tuned for the upcoming class bye everyone